that's the long way to be able to sketch the angle. The next thing I ask you guys to do is determine the coterminal angles. Remember, the coterminal angles is determining um, what I asked, you know, for determining coterminal angles is to find the positive and the negative um, value for an angle that's going to have the exact same measurement. So two angles that I'm going to draw in red, they're going to have the exact same initial and terminal side. When you guys remember when I'm graphing these angles, here, hey Adam, how are you? What you doing? Yes, I do. Do I need a sign? Okay. Um, pen. Everybody has a pen. Everybody has pencils. You guys are too good of math students. Everybody has pen pencils. That's all right. So we want to go ahead and determine our coterminal angles, 11 pi over 4. So I'm going to show you two different angles. Now remember, we started here, right? So that's your initial side, that's your terminal side. Two angles that have the same initial and terminal side would be here and be there. Would you guys agree? They have the exact same initial and terminal side. So how do we algebraically find those? Obviously, you can count them. You could say 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 3 pi over 4. And you could also say negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi, negative 4 pi, and negative 5 pi. Right? Those are two ways to look at the graph and determine what the coterminal angles are. But what if you don't want to graph this, or you have trouble, or you don't want to spend the time? Remember, one thing we did is we took 11 pi over 4, and we added, I'm sorry, if we subtract 2 pi over 4. Right? If you subtract, if you remember we said add or, add or subtract 2 pi. But the problem is, guys, if I add 2 pi to here, so here's my angle 11 pi over 4. If I add 2 pi, <laughs> I'm adding another revolution onto that angle. I don't want to do that. So it's still a coterminal angle. Right? It is still a coterminal angle. But when we're talking, mostly when we're asking for coterminal angles, we're asking for the smallest positive and the smallest negative. OK? So you didn't get a coterminal angle wrong, but obviously there's an infinite many coterminal angles, right? You can add 2 pi infinite many times, right? So to constrict kind of our solution base, we like to ask for the smallest positive and negative. So by subtracting sorry, 11 pi minus 2 pi, I can rewrite um, 2 pi, I can rewrite that as 8 pi over 4. Well, that gives me 3 pi over 4, which we're able to confirm with this angle. Yes. Then I can do that again, 3 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4. Just keep on adding this, this revolution. And when I do that, I get negative 5 pi over 4, which again, we confirmed with this angle. OK, so that's how we got there. Oh, you did. Oh, the 19. Well, no, that's, well, I, you should get an A. Oh, 